What's up, guys? Welcome back to the Drug Knowledge Series. As always, um, like I said, this is a new series that I'm starting. And yesterday I did a video on beta blockers to treat hypertension. So check out that video right there. Um, today we're going to start on ACE inhibitors. You know, we're still on the topic of hypertension, but treated with different class of medication called ACE inhibitors. So as always, follow along. I got my handy dandy Surface Pro. Um, so follow along. And without further ado, let's get started with the video. We have to understand first what is an ACE inhibitor, okay? What does ACE stand for? You have to understand what part of the body, what pathway, or what system does ACE inhibitor work on. So when we talk about ACE inhibitors, we're talking about angiotensin converting enzymes. So with that, I am trying to make this as simple as possible, okay? I don't want to go super deep into all the medical terms and stuff like that. I just want to break it down the pharmacology and get people to understand where does ACE inhibitors work and on what system to reduce your hypertension, to reduce um, effectively your blood pressure. So um, let's start by saying what does ACE inhibitor stand for? Like I said, angiotensin converting enzyme. Um, and it works on a system in our body that's called renin angiotensin aldosterone system, okay? This is a system that is regulated um, well, that regulates our blood pressure and it regulates our blood volume, okay? So let's further dig deep into what is the RAS system. Like I said, renin angiotensin aldosterone system, okay? So let's look at them on my Surface Pro. And what the RAAS is, is renin, okay? What is renin? Renin is an enzyme that is released into your blood by your kidneys, okay? When your blood levels drop below normal ranges, okay, your kidney is going to tell renin to get into the bloodstream. Angiotensinogen is made from your liver, okay? Angiotensinogen is then converted into angiotensin 1 by renin. Renin makes angiotensin 1. And then angiotensin 1 converts to angiotensin 2 by an enzyme, an angiotensin converting enzyme. ACE, okay? Are you guys following along? So, Angiotensinogen is made by the liver, and renin cuts angiotensinogen to make angiotensin 1. Angiotensin 1 then further converts to angiotensin 2 by angiotensin-converting enzyme, which is your ACE. Angiotensin 2 is like the main culprit. This is the bad boy. This is the person that causes all of the, the bad stuff, okay? Angiotensin 2 is responsible for everything that causes an increase in blood pressure. It tells your kidneys to reabsorb more sodium, right? Our, our contents of our blood and our volume in our body consists of salt, you know, normal saline or sodium chloride. So it tells our kidneys to, hey, I need more sodium in my blood. So it tells the kidneys to reabsorb more sodium, okay? It tells your, your vessels um, to constrict. It constricts your blood vessels, therefore, if it constricts your blood vessels and your smooth muscles and your arteries, then your blood pressure is going to go up, okay? Renin does all of it. It's a cascading effect, okay? Renin tells angiotensinogen to turn to angiotensin 1, and then angiotensin 1 turns to angiotensin 2, and then angiotensin 2 causes all of these cascading effects on our body, okay? So, how do ACE inhibitors work, okay? So, with that in mind, so let's look at the pathway. How do ACE inhibitors work, right? So ACE inhibitors, so we, if we look at this diagram, right, we have the RAS diagram, right? So everything I just said earlier, right, put this in perspective, okay? Your liver, let's look at it. Your liver, okay, creates angiotensinogen. This is right here. This is the inactive form, okay? If it has O-G-E-N at the end of, of any word, so glycogen, fibrinogen, uh, angiotensinogen, this is an inactive form that is already in our body, but it's inactive until it becomes active, okay? Renin cuts off angiotensinogen to make angiotensin, okay? Ren you see right here from the kidneys? Renin cuts angiotensinogen to make angiotensin, if you see it, okay? From the kidney, renin, cause angiotensinogen to make angiotensin 1, okay? And then we can further go into angiotensin 1 goes to the lungs and gets converted to angiotensin 2 by angiotensin converting enzyme. So angiotensin 1 cannot become angiotensin 2 without a converting enzyme. So this is what ACE inhibitors work on, this part of the pathway right here.
So this is part of the pathway that ACE inhibitors work on right here. These are your ACE inhibitors, your angiotensin converting enzyme inhibitors, okay? It blocks the conversion from angiotensin 1 to angiotensin 2. This is what ACE inhibitors work on. Effectively, if you block the conversion of angiotensin 1 to angiotensin 2, then the rest of this don't even matter, okay? The rest of this does not even matter because you can't convert angiotensin 1 to angiotensin 2. How else are you going to raise your blood pressure if you are angiotensin 2, okay? You, you're not converted. So the rest of this doesn't even matter. This is how your ACE inhibitors effectively lower blood pressure. Okay? You have to understand, you know, the cascade effect. You have to understand the system and the body system that it works on, okay? So for, so I know I went fast, so let's go over it again, okay? We have a RAS system, renin, angiotensin, aldosterone system, right? What is renin? Renin is an enzyme that is released into your blood by your kidneys. Your kidneys detect if you have a low blood pressure or your kidneys detect if you have low sodium in your blood, okay? It's going to tell Renny, hey, I need you to go into the blood to bring up my blood pressure to do all these effects on, on the body system to increase my blood pressure, right? I said Renny controls and maintains our normal blood pressure, okay? So like I said, how is Renny released? Renny is released by low blood volume, low sodium, and low blood pressure, okay? If your blood pressure is low, Renny is going to secrete. Your kidney is going to tell Renny to secrete, okay? So the mechanism of action of Renny, right? Renny, like I said before, Renny converts angiotensinogen to angiotensin 1. What does angiotensin mean? Angiotensin means, angio means uh, your blood vessels, Tension means pressure, so pressure on your blood vessel. So this is an easy way of remembering, right? So renin converts angiotensinogen to angiotensin 1. So your liver creates angiotensinogen, and then renin cuts off the gen, the O gen at the end, to create angiotensin 1, okay? And then once we do that, angiotensin 1 is then converted to angiotensin 2 by an angiotensin-converting enzyme, which is your ACEs. So we look at this thing, this, is the enzyme this is ace okay this is ace okay this right here let's just say let's just draw a picture hey i'm an enzyme or whatever this is ace okay this is the enzyme that converts angiotensin 1 to angiotensin 2 and then angiotensin 2 like i said is responsible for vasoconstriction on your arteries which increases blood pressure okay it increases your sodium intake so in your kidneys it will tell your kidneys to reabsorb more sodium so your blood volume can go up so it can increase your blood pressure right and then in your hypothalamus right your hypothalamus it tells your hypothalamus hey I'm thirsty. It, it, it regulates thirst. Your hypothalamus uh, regulates thirst, okay? It tells you, hey, I want to drink more water. I want to drink more something to increase my blood volume, okay? And it increases in aldosterone, okay? Angiotensin 2 is responsible for all this. So, if you cut off the converting enzyme that converts angiotensin 1 to angiotensin 2, you have effectively treated blood pressure or prevented all of this from happening. It's, everything is a cascading effect, right? You have to understand the system that it works on. You have to understand where it works on in the system. So let's look at what are your ACE inhibitors, right? Your ACE inhibitors are going to consist of anything with a preal at the end, usually, 99% uh, um, of the time. If it has preal at the end, it's probably an ACE inhibitor, right? So examples are your lisinopril, right? Your benazapril, your ramipril, your enalapril. Lisinopril is really the most common one used in practice. You're going to see lisinopril used 99.9% .9 of the time. Yes, you have other ones that you can use. I've seen all of these used before, benazapril, ramipril, and nalapril. But lisinopril is like the main one used all the time by prescribers. So um, just to recap. So just to recap, okay? I want people to understand this very, very clearly. You're, you have to understand the body system that it works on. You have to understand what is renin. What is the RAS system? Renin, angiotensin, aldosterone system, okay? So your ACE inhibitors work by preventing the conversion from angiotensin 1 convert to angiotensin 2, okay? Your angiotensin 2 is responsible for everything, okay? Your angiotensin 2 binds to your receptors and then it responsible for everything. Increase in sodium, increase in vasoconstriction, increase in aldosterone, make you thirsty, 
and everything. So you have to understand the RAS system. Renin is released uh, from your kidneys uh, if it detects low sodium, a low blood pressure, and a low blood volume, okay? It's going to tell renin to go into the blood and then angiotensinogen is, is manifested and created from the liver and then angiotensinogen from the liver, okay? Renin cuts angiotensinogen to make angiotensin one, okay? And then angiotensin one then goes to the lung to get converted by an angiotensin converting enzyme to make angiotensin two, okay? Angiotensin two, responsible for everything. So this is the bare, minimum that I'm trying to make it very very clear on how things work in the body okay your ACE inhibitors angiotensin converting enzyme inhibitors block the conversion of angiotensin 1 to angiotensin 2 so I tried to cut this down less than 10 minutes but if you have any other questions feel free to drop a like uh, a comment DM me whatever let me know what next topic you want me guys to discuss uh, we're still on top of hypertension um, I still have to cover the calcium channel blockers, but uh, whatever topic you guys want to discuss, let me know in the comment section down below. Um, without further ado, I hope you guys learned something today. And holla at your boy.